How is everybody doing online? Good to see you. We have Jessica over here as my volunteer, and of course we have the star of the show, the first and only giraffe in the state of Nevada. And his name is Ozzy, yes. You may be wondering, how did we get Ozzy? Ozzy came from the Tanganyika Wild Animal Park in Wichita, Kansas, and he was around eight months old and stood about eight feet tall. Now, he is a six-year-old, so he's not done growing yet. Giraffe stopped growing at the age of seven. So I'm going to ask him so he can show you guys how tall he is. Oz, how tall are you? Beautiful. So he showed you about 16, but he, when he's standing up all the way, he can stand about 17 feet in height. Uh, his dad wasn't so tall, so these next couple months, we don't think he'll pass 18 uh, feet in height, but it is 2020, so anything's possible. So let's get started. <coughs> We're going to be painting some of our beautiful eco-friendly bags over there. We have those inside the gift shop. Um, if you do want those painted, those are 20 bucks. Uh, you can also choose the colors if you were looking for Ozzy to paint it for you. Let's go. Now, Ozzy is a reticulated giraffe. The reticulated giraffes are one of the tallest. Quite frankly, I believe with great height comes great responsibility. Giraffes in the wild are actually considered the sentinels of the savannah. That means a lot of smaller prey species actually like to hang around giraffes because of that great height vantage point, they're able to see predators coming from miles away. So if we're in the wild with Ozzy and Ozzy decides to take off running, we better go with him because trouble's coming. Now speaking of trouble, we have 31 troublemakers and they're called lions. Yes, we have 31 lions on property. You may be wondering how does Ozzy feel about that? Ozzy says, no problem, I'm a lot bigger than they are. Our biggest pro lion on property, his name is Dude. He weighs in at a whopping 600 pounds. That's a big lion, folks. But when Ozzy's done growing, he'll weigh anywhere from 3,000 to 4,000 pounds. He can kill a full-grown lion with one kick. <clears throat> Good job. So if you want to be big and strong like Ozzy, eat your fruits and vegetables. That's what we tell all the kids. <laughs> now, speaking of vegetables, Ozzy is a strict herbivore which means he only eats plant material. Yes, he's the world's tallest vegan. <clears throat> but he's getting some of his favorite treats right now, which are carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, lettuce. He absolutely loves Brussels sprouts. He gets apple note biscuits, stream beans, lettuce, and he has access to hay inside and outside of his barn over there. So quite a bit of food. Giraffes can eat up to about 75 pounds of food a day. Just caught a bit of food if you're talking about plants, right? Now, he's such a strict herbivore. You can turn that around, Jess. He's such a strict herbivore. If I were to be out feeding lions and my hands smell like blood or meat, he would absolutely refuse anything I try to give to him and tell me to go wash my hands because they stink. Now, me being the adult, at this point, I should know how to wash my hands thoroughly. But if they're not obvious standards, he'll make you go and do it again. And we've all learned the hard way. <laughs> there we go. Now that clicking sound you guys are hearing, hearing, you might be wondering what that is. That's me. I have this clicker here. That's my way of communicating with Ozzy and letting him know he's doing a very good job. The more times he touches the canvas with the paintbrush, the more clicks he gets. And clicks means treats. I don't know about you guys. The more you pay me, I tend to work harder. Same thing works with the giraffe as well. Good job, buddy. Now, when he's done eating there, yeah, we'll move over. Uh, when he's done eating there, he's going to stick up that nice tongue of his, which grows an inch with every foot in height he grows. But also, that tongue is very, it's, it's prehensile, which is a fancy word for saying he can use it like we do with our hands. He can hold on and uh, manipulate his tongue like we do our, our fingers or our hands. Giraffe spent about 18 to 20 hours a day foraging, which is a lot of time that tongue is exposed to the sunlight. Hence the why it's just that dark blue or purple color because it acts as a protectant from the sun. Good job. Now Ozzy can see in color. Yes, he can see in color, so he is choosing where he wants to put the color on the canvas. Can you guess where he puts the color if he doesn't like it? If on the side of the barn there, correct. On the floor right in front of us. You can flip it around, Jess on the floor right in front of us but he also does face painting hair streaking and manicures too so if you're looking to get a manicure be sure to talk to sean and we'll be sure to get you on the book one more he's doing a really good job with this painting for these bags i'm sorry 
<laughs> now they have that unique ability because giraffes only want the freshest and ripest food possible. So they have that ability to see in color. So they're making sure they're not pulling things too early and they're not just right yet. Good job. Let's do some more purple. Now, do we know how many vertebrae we have in our neck? Is there any anatomy majors around here? 32, a lot less than 32. We're in the single digits. Seven, correct. Now, can you guess how many a giraffe has? 32, a lot less than 32. A lot closer to us than you think. Seven, correct. <laughs> His is on the ball and socket joint, which allows him to maneuver that neck in multiple directions. In fact, male giraffes do a fighting technique called necking. It's when they square off against an opponent and they'll swing that head and neck as fast and as hard as they can, almost like a baseball bat. And so the winner pushes the loser out and he wins all the females. We have an ongoing joke here saying that Avi's waiting for that large herd of females to come walking down Las Vegas Boulevard so he can pack up all his hay and leave. But we're hoping that doesn't happen, right? So not only being a beautiful giraffe and a fantastic artist, but yeah, let's do a little bit more purple on that one. And a fantastic artist, Ozzy does play a very important role here. And that's as an animal ambassador. Giraffes are going through quite a tough time right now. And that's due to us human encroachment and poaching. Their populations have dwindled down by almost 80%. And once again, that's due to us. So Ozzy wants you to help us today, or help him actually, by spreading the word and telling as many people as you can that the only proper way to shoot a giraffe is with the camera. Please hashtag Ozzy the Giraffe or Lion Habitat Ranch. He does have a social media presence. In fact, I called him on his phone earlier on Tinder and his at name said tall and handsome. I'm sorry, his at name said wild thing and his bio said tall and handsome. What do you guys think about his finished artwork? Give him a round of applause. Oz, they like it. You want to take it? Oh, he's taking it prematurely. You gotta come back up, but I didn't ask. See that silly look he gave me? Hey, can you take a bow? Good job. Give another round of applause, please. Now, we do have hats, scarves, t-shirts, and canvases of all sizes inside the gift shop. If you don't find anything you'd like, he does do custom work as well. Like I said, these brand new eco-friendly bags are pretty cool. Uh, you can see those inside the gift shop as well. We have snacks and refreshments. We just ask that you go one family at a time. Please keep your mask over your nose and mouth at all times. It keeps you safe, it keeps our animals safe, and it keeps us healthy. So that's a win-win-win. Once again, I want to appreciate, I want to tell you guys how much we appreciate you for coming out today. You're a part of the team. We appreciate you and enjoy the rest of your stay. Thank you.